But now past it is just a blow Cause you got me lit every time Taking my shit I'm Brittany Lauren as you can see from the side of the box to unbox this camera and today I'm filming in um, my room you know real chill because my ring light is broken and I don't really have a real setup right now so I hope you guys don't mind this film setup but I got a new camera so I thought I'd show you guys no matter what so I tried to vlog a bit earlier while I was buying this camera but that didn't really work out I feel like so I'm going to insert those clips testing so this is both my iPhone Pluses next to each other. It's so crazy. I don't know why, but for some reason this camera is like so bad. Anyways though, so. I was watching a vlog of a uh, review of the camera I'm on my way to pick up. And the lady was like, people always laughing at vloggers. So just, you might as well do what you do, right? So as you can see from the title of this video, I am on my way to get a new camera. I'm um, near Union Square, 14th Street. I'm on my way to Adorama. And I'm doing this like this because my Canon. Ah! I dropped my freaking umbrella. But um, the Canon is so big and bulky and it's broken. Like, I can not think it was working, but it's broken. So, yeah, I don't want to carry the whole big thing down here with me. So, yeah. And I'm going to open up a camera, anyways. And I was supposed to be down here with my friend, but he is not feeling so well. And neither was I, but I like carpe diem the fuck out of today i was like you know what i'm gonna get my ass up and i'm gonna do what i said i was gonna do so yeah that's what i'm doing i didn't eat i just got a nice is it leaking it's not leaking right? i just got a nice pressed juicery drink let me here and i am um what was i saying oh yeah he's supposed to be here he doesn't feel well so yeah i'm 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 here and i'm doing what i said i was gonna do i didn't eat yet and i'm starving and I have to walk all the way to 18th. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. And um, I don't even remember the cross streets. I have to look that up now. I wanted to be so cute today. Or these boots and my feet hurt pretty badly. Okay, so update. Kinda am happy I'm alone. It's whatever. I was on the phone with my friend. I was trying to talk to him while I was in the phone store and he just was like totally ignoring me. Uh, Anyways, though, I just have my camera, like, uh, it's so crazy how negative shit can, like, really, like, deter your mood. But yeah, I got my camera. It's kind of, it was in this little small box compared to, like, I think it's, like, this Canon camera accident. Of course, it's a small little camera. So, I'm looking for somewhere to eat now. I'm going to go to Chipotle so I can sit down and eat and have a drink and um, unbox this thing and play with it before I have to go pick up my son. They had a ring light in there for $22, but it didn't come with a stand. So y'all see my little pies later in this video. I almost canceled it and got the little ring light, but I remember mine's coming through with a fan. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy the city. So I just went into Chipotle. And it's a new Chipotle on Union Square, not the one I usually go into, and they do not have a like, liquor license, I guess, yet. So that like really threw me off and upset me, and I left. And um, now I'm in Sephora. I'm about to spend some unnecessary money on what I don't know, but yeah. And I don't even want to because yeah. But yeah, them not having a the license totally is like maybe feel like I don't want to go there, eat there. So I don't know where I want to eat. That. I'm just ready to go back home. Oh, um, my feet are killing me, and they're like doing something in Union Square right now. It's cute. Um, I just went Sephora. It's so nice, but I like got lost in there. I was like so um sidetracked and I'm sad a little bit because I didn't have a supportive friend for today. Not that I need one, it just would have been nice. And um, yeah, now I'm going to the train. I bought two things in Sephora for very cheap. I was like trying to budget my money because I'm already spending a lot of money and I have to pay bills and stuff. But um, I wish I was taking like really nice pictures of the scenery right now. It's like so nice. But I told myself, I'll come back. Excuse me. I'll come back to the city by myself, whatever. And I'll enjoy myself another time. I really feel like cutting my friend off. I really do, because this is like a continuous thing, and like, when you don't have people that support you, and stuff like that, and like, it's like a continuous thing where it's like, they're continuously like, making you feel some type of way, then maybe it's like time to cut the relationship off. And I like, 
let's got, like not talk to him for a while and close the relationship, see if things would get back. But you can't change people. So yeah, I'm gonna try to enjoy this. I think I need to definitely get a seat on this train because I don't know how much longer I could last in these heels. But yeah, I'm gonna sit on the train and get my ass home to pick up my son. I'm filming this unboxing for you guys. I'm gonna open it on the train though. I wanna look at it. And today, y'all saw what already was going on. And right now, I'm gonna unbox this camera. So I watched a few reviews on this baby. But today, I got the Panasonic DC CS70. And it's the Panasonic Lumix 4K. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, I got this camera today. And I ordered a ring light on Amazon, which should be here in the next few hours. And. Um, I am very excited. My DSLR broke, which is the reason, well my DSLR is like messed up right now and I'm looking at myself on my computer. The viewfinder is like, the color grading is off I guess I could say, so I need a new camera. And um, so I have here the Panasonic DC CS70 digital camera, 4K, 4K photo, post focus, optical zoom 30 times, viewfinder, high sensitivity, MOS. 20.3 megapixels, a Leica DC lens, and it's black. Lumix. It says Wi-Fi certified. All of these things. Um, it says this box contains a digital camera, a battery pack, an AC adapter, a USB connection cable, a hand strap, and an owner's manual. And it says save this box just in case you ever need to return the camera for servicing. And on this side, it's like serial numbers. And yeah. It says... Tiltable to 180 degrees, touch panel, million and 40,000 dots LCD, control ring, contrast with DFD, not sure what that means, power, OS, OIS, I believe that's a stabler, hybrid, light composition, yeah, like it's a registered trademark, yeah, I don't, yeah, let's just, let's just open this, my camera is dying too, so yeah. And open it now. I kind of opened it. I bought this camera in a used demo condition from a photography like com computer store. It's called Adorama in New York City, and that's where I got my camera. And when you open it, it has this sticker that says "Thank you for shopping with Adorama. We appreciate your business and all that great stuff." And it's like a sticker. I don't know where I'll put that, but um, here's the contents. Here's the charger, I believe. So here's the charger. Well, not the charger. Here's the what is it? What is the exact word for these? Here's the AC adapter. But yeah, here's the USB cable. There's the battery. It's Lumix Panasonic battery, and there's a strap and a little silica gel packet. Leave that in there. Here's the actual camera. I'm so excited. And underneath, here. Yeah, it's like some papers, whatever. Product registration. And a basic owner's manual. So I'll tell you guys this. When I got my DSLR, I didn't get a manual. So hopefully this is kind of helpful with me learning how to work this camera. It looks pretty detailed. Excuse the noise in the background and just excuse my whole, whole film setup, but I just felt like I had to get this video done, so I didn't really care about my setup. Yeah, this looks pretty detailed. I don't really know too much about cameras. I'm really hoping I can get my DSLR repaired because it broke before I got to learn how to use it. And I'm happy I got this like pretty basic camera so I can learn this one and I can like use whatever I learned with this and here's another thing it came with it and I can use whatever I learned with this camera on my DSLR hopefully I really hope to get it fixed so it's a okay so my battery died but um this is a quick guide for 4k photo and it's pretty much this wide display of instructions and on the other side it's in another language so yeah I'll definitely read this um while I'm playing with the camera but I'm just gonna like you know unbox it and like try to turn it on and see if it's even charged and put the strap on it. I'm so excited. I have to take a, a quick pull for this one. 
Welcome home, baby. So, it's really wrapped well in bubble wrap and plastic. And this is her. Really lightweight. From what the review said, I didn't expect this camera to be so light. They made it seem like it was heavy. So, yeah. As you can see, on, off button, record, shutter, zoom. Um, different modes. I don't know what this is, like live viewfinder, I have no idea, Electric, electronic viewfinder, sensor, you know, all of these great buttons, <laughs> of course, the great flip up screen, I don't know why am I so tempted to touch that, but yeah, and the lens, so let me get this lanyard on here. That was pretty easy. Usually these are hard to get on. There we go, real time. It's not gonna turn on if the battery is in it. I don't know what that is for, I don't know what that do. That does not sound like my sister mom. Uh, I wouldn't have done that. Oh wow, my camera was still recording. So look, my ring light is here, my dog food is here, and my stuff from my mom is here. And my son is here. I turned it on. This electric viewfinder is lit. So this thing opens right here. I don't know. Is that for an actual, like what is that for? I have no idea what that's for. But yeah, I'm just gonna open this the bottom and get that battery in there and I can't really do anything because I only have like really one SD card and it's in this camera so I love the fact that you don't have to um take the battery out to charge the camera and that you just plug the camera in and charge it as you can see it's on but nothing is showing on the screen but inside of the electric viewfinder it's on oh my gosh it just started like I, I zoomed it out on accident okay it's showing me it looks is it, is it me or is it blurry in there I have bad eyesight yeah it's my eye I need some revising So when I had first um, turned on camera, I'm gonna turn it on and turn it back. I'm gonna turn it off and turn it back on and see if it does it again. Ooh, I press record. It says no memory card. It says Lumix when you turn it off. So I turn it on and it says please set the home area. And it says like set in the bottom right corner and in the top right corner it has one bar of battery. And it also says that um, I, also, I also read in a review I also read in a review that the battery is meant to last all day, so hopefully this one bar doesn't like let the phone, the camera die anytime soon. So in the manual it says remove the battery, charge the battery, and then I guess when it says um, please set the home area. So I guess when it says please set the home area, it's talking about the time because it says setting the clock. The clock is not set when the camera is shipped, so turn the camera on, press menu set, and. It says Toronto, New York, Miami, okay, GMT minus 5, daylight savings, okay, 8.31, that is not my time, it is 7.30, okay, there we go, no memory card, okay, so I think to turn the screen on, I have to press this button, oh, it did it. Oh. oh yeah, I'm gonna have fun with this. I don't know what am I doing, but um let me click menu. And yeah, I'm gonna just set it up and I'm gonna play. So you're gonna hear my kids in the background. It says please set the home area. Okay, I'm gonna turn it back off because I'm scared. So let me get this manual and start reading my stuff. 
Don't be cutting the stuff inside there, give me. Don't give that to Auntie. Tell Auntie I got this for five dollars. I thought this ring like came with a stand. Where's the stand? Where's the stand to the ring right? This is just the ring light. And I got my pads from my mom from Libman. <laughs> this is my Amazon Prime package. So I guess we're gonna do a quick unboxing of this ring light real quick. Instead of Oh, it is a tripod in here. This is that small. This ring light is so small I can travel with it. I No. You should have opened them and looked. Well, I mean, pulled it out because you know my... Yeah. But don't worry, you're really going to be asking that soon. I'll color on mine to some so you know the difference. So I'm plugging in this ring light. Real quick to see. Come, let's see. Y'all want to test out my ring light? I mean, y'all want to test it with me? Yeah, come on. Come take a Okay. Look, look, I can travel with this. Do you see that this is a tripod? I thought there was no tripod. When I looked at the box, I was like, this was supposed to come with a tripod. This is a 10-inch 10, 10 LED ring light. How much is this? $25. Leave me alone. I'm going to only give it to you because it can't pass. Because, you know, I've expressed. Yes, I know I've expressed. I thought it didn't have a tripod. Look at this little tripod. I can use this for my camera outside. I can walk around with this for my camera. I got a new camera. You got a new camera? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know this camera's gonna share that little photo button. I was so jealous. What, like the instant cameras? This is my money. Oh. What are you trying to show? Are you gonna rich? Was it 60? No, top was 50. Okay. Oh, don't think me. Just change your attitude. More, you should be more happy for me than. Oh, I haven't gotten up there. Uh, oh, birthday! I even do that to my friends. I'd be like, girl, how much you pay for that? They'd be like, this much. I'd be like, you know you could have got that on AliExpress? Okay, well. I'll to everybody. You hurt my feelings. Like, I don't do nothing for you. You're hurting me. How does that hurt? I got some little tampons on AliExpress. It was a, um, it was a, it was another thing. It, was, it looked like, it looked like they had, like, three in them. Okay. And what kind of pads are these? These are liners. These are not pads. How could you do me like that? You gotta go back. I'm spinning all the time. Oh. The recording stop. Okay, he wants to talk to you. He's in the game. I'm on Facebook. Right? And then so today, I heard a door slam when I was leaving. Fake a reaction. Y'all, I didn't record me. People do that. They fake reactions. <laughs> and they open it 60 times. And if they get the right shot, they redo it. So. Let's see. But when I turn it on. It should make a sign when you go to the max. Max, Rich. Or stupid. Look, it's blue. If you can't really tell, it's like you're going from blue hue. Ooh. And that was, yeah. Yeah. You blinded me. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. 25 hours, not bad. Yeah. But yeah, when I turn on the camera, it says, please set the home screen. And if the battery is dying, and it, when it turns on, nothing pops up right here. Some stuff pops up right here. Hey, so how you, how you notice that? Because it says it in here. It's electronic in there. That is so weird. Why not just pop up on the picture? You see? Why? You, why? Why? Are you trying, trying to see like, I don't know what you're doing. Like, what are you trying to do? Like, I'm not watching you. I'm trying to do stuff and you're just being crazy. That's why I tell you to sit down and read. You gotta stop. You know when you're doing bad stuff, Courtney. You really gotta stop. Because I, I I thought I raised you to be a good kid. I didn't? What? And don't lose that outside. Put in your bra or something. That, that pocket is loose. If you lose that money, Brianna, I'm not giving you money again. Oh, really? I'll just buy you stuff, I swear to God. Are you serious? Dead ass. You will never give me money again? If you lose that $20, yes. You will never give me money again? Probably for a really long time. For a really long time, oh, yes. Really? Why would you do that? Because too much stuff has been lost recently. And you lost stuff before, I lost my wallet. I don't got time to be keep losing stuff. But yeah. yeah look, take a look. They, um, thumb me <laughs> Alright, baby, let's try mommy's ring light. We're gonna do... I'm gonna cut this part out. We're gonna do a re fake reaction to how that bright... fake is real. We're gonna react to see how bright this ring light is. You ready? Okay. Ready? One, two. <gasps> oh my gosh. That thing is so bright. This is just like my ring light that I had before. This big one right here. Oh, and let's look at this. Oh, and I do colors. Do colors. Oh, and you could dim it and stuff. That is so cool. 
Too cool, man. This looks so good. This was such a good vibe. Okay, I gotta go. It's busting me. Okay, it's what? Busting me. I turned it down. Wait, um, I got that big ass bag of gold food. I usually pay eight dollars for the little bag. Five dollars. Talking about I could order all this stuff on AliExpress and leave it months. Girl, bye. Wait, months? Some stuff come fast. It's yeah, some stuff did come fast. It was like three weeks and a couple days, but it was almost a month. I was that something August 30th, I think. Still better? And I still didn't get stuff yet, but I wasn't on August 30th. So. And yeah, I'm gonna just set it up and I'm gonna play with it. And I'm just gonna insert whatever test shots and images I do with it. And yeah, thank you for unboxing. So yeah, thank you guys for sitting here with me while I unbox this camera and this <laughs> and this pretty crazy setup. But yeah, I'm hoping to um have way better um content coming to my channel soon. Tomorrow I'm going to surprise my sister with not the actual like camera she can record with anything, but you guys will see. I'm gonna get her camera and I'm gonna vlog that in the city and I'm gonna go buy some things. I'm gonna go buy some things for my backdrop and I'm gonna go buy some things just to like my filming setup. And I feel really, you know, good now that I have my ring light back popping and bright as a motherfucker. And yeah, it's just a good day. Selfie. Take a selfie. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I forgot to add. I guess I can include this in this little video haul. I guess I got a camera today. I got a ring light. got dog food. I got my mop heads. And I went to Sephora. And I'm going to go back tomorrow. So I got little ditties. I got a... Clear Skin Days by Sephora Collection Clarifying Cleanser and Mask. It's a deep clean and brighten with BHA and AHA salicylic. Salicylic? I think I said that right. Salicylic acid acne treatment. It's a salicylic. It's a salicylic acid acne treatment. So yeah, it's a mask and a cleanser. You should use this one time a day. And this may increase your skin sensi sensitivity to sun, so you should use a sunscreen, wear protective clothing, and limit sun exposure by using this product, and for a week afterwards. Wow. Interesting. I need to go get some sunscreen then, huh? I'm going to wear shades tomorrow when I go outside, so I'm definitely using this. So it says, clear skin days are ahead. With less than 12 raw ingredients in each product, we kept things simple and only used essential ingredients to deliver results. Each of our products play a vital role and allowing you to take control of your skin for clear skin, skin days at, for clear skin days ahead. Our clarifying cleanser and mask has a two-in-one function to effectively deep clean and exfoliate skin. Gentle enough for daily use, the cleanser clears up acne blemishes and abs the, clen the cleanser clears up acne blemishes and absorbs excess oil, helping you to maintain a healthy complexion. For a longer treatment, leave on skin for two to five minutes as a clarifying mask. We recommend using the mask two to three times per week to give your skin an extra boost. So yeah, I don't know if you can tell. But my forehead, my cheek, and this, just my nose, under here, they need, it needs attention, so, my skin was clear before, and it's not anymore, so I was like, let me get this, and I'm gonna do a little bit more research before I put this acid on my face, but, yeah, I'm gonna take some before and after pictures and hope that this works, and that was $10, and I also got a NARS, Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Creme Brulee Light 2.5, 1975, the year my mom was born. My sister is back, excuse the noise. So yeah, I'm excited to use this. And I'm gonna go get some more stuff. I know, they yeah, gave me a new Exactly, but I'll give you a new free birthday gift um, next month too. Oh no, I lost my $20. Anyways though, so I don't know where my video left off at. I'm just gonna do it before and after with this product and pray my skin clears up. My sister said I have it till Monday. It says clear skin days ahead, okay? Yeah. So yeah, I can't wait to use this my makeup. So, <sighs> this free 
birthday gift they gave me is a drunk elephant proteiny polypeptide cream and a best day number nine jelly cleanser it purifies and dissolves and it's a cancel of glycerin and i don't even know if i'm saying these things right but now you can have your best day and your proteiny too. Reset skin to a healthy state with a pH balance, unscented cleanser, and a firming dose of the original Get Shit Done Protein Moisturizer. I love that. All you need to take a clean break and reclaim the glow in time for your party. Voishi for voice. Like, no, 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 no. Okay, that is not English anymore. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I cannot believe I almost tried to read that. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Not my birthday. I guess they're trying to get rid of these things. I don't know. But, yeah. My little Sephora haul, and I can't wait to see what's coming next. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I know it's like pretty like, uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff, and peace out. <laughs> As y'all can see, my ring light is pretty bright, and I forgot to add. Um, so so while I decided to buy a new camera, I was leaning more towards this choice because it's like a really like cool investment. I feel like. I have a DSLR and hopefully I can get it fixed but this like whole flip out moment and 4k and just everything it does definitely reminds me of like the Canon G7X I believe or like the Sony A5100 so yeah it's like it's, it reminds me of like all the popular vlogging cameras and I feel like this is a very you know good vlogging camera and it's it's not I feel like this is a very good vlogging camera but it's not talked about a lot I understand why it's not as popular as like the Canon G7X or the Sony like A versions of cameras or whatever like I'm pretty sure this camera you know falls within the ranks of those cameras and it, it just is a really amazing camera I hope this video gets out there to people who don't know about this camera because I feel like it's definitely you know worth it you know and a lot of people don't know about it and a lot of people always talk about Sony and Canon but what about a good old Panasonic you know so yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting used to this camera. So cheers to me and my baby.